Good evening, friends. It is with joy that we come into your midst to leave with you one or two thoughts that might be of help to you in your life in this world. We come through a barrier from the other side of life as you term it. Not because we want to make the sound of our own voice praiseworthy, not because we want to dictate to you what you should do and what you shouldn't. Our job, when we come to you in whatever guise, is to make you think for yourselves, is to try to get into your minds, is to make you pay attention to the things that are around you, not accepting something because it is customary, not accepting something because somebody dressed up in robes gives you the details and tells you that you should do this, that and the other, not because over 2,000 years ago somebody in a little tiny place in Palestine gave certain commandments. We want you to realize that within each one of you there is a spirit, an eternal spirit. Have you ever considered that because you are eternal spirit, that you existed before you came to the earth? even as you will exist after you leave the earth plane? Can you conceive of what eternity is? One of your precepts is that eternal progress is open to every soul. What is a soul? It is that part of you that is eternal that part of you which functioned before you came into a body, that part of you which is a part of spirit, a part of God, that part of you that is on a journey that will eventually take you into union with the Great Spirit. It is difficult for you while you are in a body of earth, because you are limited by the things of earth. We know that so often you feel that your life upon the earth plane is a failure. It seems to you that so often you try to do something for someone else and it gets turned aside. And often you look round you and you think, what is the worth of it? Why should I strive? Why should I do this, that and the other when there are so many people who completely ignore the things of spirit and yet who seem to flourish upon the earth plane? But remember this, each one of you whether you are young or old, each one of you is an individual spirit. And each one of you is at a different stage of your progress. You understand today the theory of evolution in the physical world. Your scientists have delved back into the past and have shown how man gradually evolved from the apes who lived in the trees in Africa. And gradually through the centuries developed until eventually they became man. That is the physical side. But within every form of life, from the lowest to the highest, 
from the insect that crawls along the ground, to the weed that grows in your garden, to the trees, to the birds and the animals and the fish. Everything that has life has spirit. And that spirit is in the progress, uh, is in the process of development. Development from something very primitive into something very constructive. Often in your progress through life, you will regard your circumstances as being very difficult. You seem to get more troubles perhaps than somebody else. And over and over again, you will find yourself saying, why? Why should this happen to me? Why should someone that I love pass over to the other side of life? Why should I lose a baby, a child, a husband or a wife, a brother or a sister, before they have had time to live their lives upon earth? But remember, if your path is difficult upon earth, if you do have more troubles than other people, if you do find that you have a very hard road to plough, remember that it is just because you are a little more advanced than someone else. And so you need slightly harder lessons. When your children first go to school, they begin in the infants and they start learning their A, B, C. You would not expect the infants to master the principles of algebra or to learn foreign languages. You know that a child has to develop and grow and you want that child to do the utmost that it can. You want it to use its potential to the full. You, you realize that in the physical world there are differences between children, between individuals. One child will find that they can spell and read much quicker than someone else, while perhaps another sees no difficulty in doing mathematics. Some children can sit down and play at a piano or another instrument, and it seems as though they are far beyond their years in precociousness. But if you are wise, you will realize that every child upon earth has its own potential, has its own talent, has its own capabilities, and it is those powers, those talents, those capabilities that you want to develop. If you are wise, you will not try to drive children into a way that is not suited to them. When they come to the end of their time at school, if you are wise, you will see in what direction their talent lies and direct them to that particular skill. And again, if you are wise, you will accept the fact that each child is an individual, even as you yourselves are individual. It is important that while you are on the earth plane, you make use of the 
opportunities that are given to you of earth. It is important that while you are here it, on the earth plane, that you use whatever comes your way in order that you may develop your character, in order that you may progress in your spirit. It is important that you accept the circumstances of life, that you try to broaden your mind as far as you can, that you make contacts with other people, that you join in the activities of earth. So often, in various forms of religion up and down your land, you come up against people who think that this is wrong and that is wrong, who will deny that, that there is any good to be found in the theatre, cinema, television, all the other things that you accept as part of your life, somebody will condemn. But we want to tell you that every part of your life is important. Every part of the earth experience, whatever it may be, and we want you to look upon your life on the earth plane as an adventure that you are going upon with a willing heart, knowing that you have got the power within you to overcome the obstacles, <coughs> to deal with the difficulties, to achieve what you came to earth to do to build your character. We do not ask you to forget spirit. We do not ask you to turn your back completely upon the things of the spirit. But what we do say is that you should allow yourself time for meditation, for linking up with spirit, for sending out your thoughts of love, of healing, of upliftment to those around you who are in need. But to realize that while you are in an earth body upon the earth plane, it is most important for you to accept the things of earth, You take on responsibilities as you progress through life. And because you have got those responsibilities, so you have to fulfill them. A lot of people can turn round and say, well, why should this all happen to me? It is just because it is you, because it is you as an individual at a certain stage of your evolution who have got to accept the things of earth and through them learn how to progress both in a physical and in a spiritual sense. Jesus of Nazareth, when he walked upon the earth plane, came to bring a simple message, a message to love one another. And if you really look into the basis of all religion, you will find that love in some form or another is at the root of it. You say glibly, God is love, but God is also spirit, so spirit is love. 
it is important that you should give love to all those you come into contact with. Not just those you meet physically, but those who, whom you commune with in thought. Those you read about. Not just those who are doing good, who are making a name for themselves because of their saintliness, but those who are committing so-called crimes, the vandals, the assassins, the terrorists. So many people who are missing the way and yet who are acting because they think it is the right way, the right thing to do. They need your love, as well as those who are doing the good works. Remember, God is in each one of them, even as he is within you. If you look for the good in people, if you act as ambassadors for that good, if you broadcast to people whom you meet that there is good in the world, then the spirit of despair will be pushed on one side. We come back to you from time to time because we love you. And we try to make our love enfold not only each of you gathered in this service, but all those on the earth plane who are manifesting in a human body and coping with the things of earth. Give that love wherever you go. Give it willingly. Do the little things that make so much difference to some other soul. A smile here, a word there. Whatever it may be, however small, however insignificant, it will have an effect upon that soul, although you may never see the results of it yourself. So we leave you with these few words, giving you our blessing and praying that each one of you will take that love in your hearts and share it with all those you come into contact with. And that eventually your earth plane will move forward in the sphere of evolution. And those who are working here will show what love really means. Good night and God bless you all.